How you doing? I'm uh, John Oldenkamp. And I'm Nathan Oldenkamp. And uh, we're the owners of Oldenkamp Trucking. We haul milk in two different areas. We haul milk in Southern California, based out of Chino, California, where we're originally from, and most of the dairies here in the Central Valley. Dad started this company back in 1993, almost 29 years ago. We've got Westmark tankers, and we're very happy with them. So I would recommend a Westmark product, tankers in general, just for one particular reason alone is the weight. It comes down to things, we get paid by the weight, so it's the most important thing. The more payload we can, we can achieve, the greater our check is going to be. So ultimately, with, a, with the lightest product, we haul the most amount of milk, most amount of cream, we get paid more. So that's, that's, that's the main thing, but ultimately, at the end of the day, the quality of the product is second to none, really easy to work with and to achieve different goals that you need from sanitary needs to tankers, valves, things that, that other companies may not want to do, specifically like the tanker behind us here. That This is a custom tanker that was uh, kind of built in honor for uh, my dad, and ultimately, we all the heads put together, we built this beautiful tanker just kind of in honor of him. So it was something that I don't think any other company would achieve or would even try to attempt. So we appreciate Westmark for doing that. Yeah, I think we got a pretty wide variety of tanks from Westmark, all the way from you know our custom OT93 to my dad's first tank. It's got multiple millions of miles on it, still on the road today. It's gone through a few uh, reconstructions and, and minor cosmetic things, but still on the road and in our standard spec now, uh, extremely lightweight and very, very durable, just like the, the old tanks were. So just from like a research and development standpoint, the, the input that we give to them on the things that we're looking for, not just from a lightweight standpoint, but um, just simple things like uh, the containment of the chemicals that we wash the tanks with, the chlorine, the food grade uh, products that go inside of it. You know, they're corrosive. They can eat out the aluminum and a lot of uh, the other products that are on the tanks. We mentioned something to them, they take it to their team and they try to figure out the best way to uh, mitigate those problems. And it's not just you know one issue, it's been you know 30 years of development to get to where our standard spec is now. We couldn't be happier. Like my brother said, we have various different, amount, uh, different styles of tanks. They're, at the end of the day, they're just all milk tanks, but when it comes down to certain needs that we have, such as uh, thicker insulation or more, more needed for insulation for hotter places, we go to travel out to the desert. We need some uh, tankers that can hold the temp better or hold the, uh, the coldness in the tank a little bit better, thicker stuff. They're always easy to work with to say, hey, this is what we need. You know, what's you, they go back to their engineers and they come up with something for us. So we'll have anything from fiberglass to just standard foam insulation or a thicker foam, whatever's needed. They, uh, they've done a lot of different things when it comes to, you know, tired of change of jackets, we, we like aluminum skins, but at the end of the day, the corrosive material burns through it, and ultimately they came up with a uh, with a device that uh, helped mitigate that. So instead of just having the CIP, run, CIP water run down the tanker on the aluminum jacket and burning it up, they devised a, a, a plan that the, the material would now roll out of the dome and then go through the legs, or actually on the ladder system, and drop down to the belly of the tanker so it's no longer touching, the caustic is no longer touching the tanker. So that, that's something that they've improved on. They're always trying to improve and make things lightweight. And it's kind of a team effort uh, between you know us using the product and them seeing how it how it turns out. So very happy with uh, with that. We're happy to be the new owners and continue on with the product of Westmark. We currently have quite a few tankers on order for 2022. Uh, very pleased with the, the product. So can't say enough about Westmark and uh, the crew over there. All we have is Westmark tankers, and uh, that's all we'll ever have.